Many of us are using AI for pretty much everything these days, but should you use it to help you figure out how to self-study machine learning? If you're new here, my name is Marina. I'm a senior machine learning scientist at Amazon with largely self-taught technical skills. Today, I wanna to see if ChatGPT can make a realistic plan for how to self-study machine learning, starting from zero all the way to the skills you need to get a job. I'll break down the plan, what it gets right, and why you might not want to fully rely on AI for this just yet. Let's put it to the test. I asked ChatGPT, I want to become a machine learning engineer. Currently, I have a non-technical background and no related skills in the field. Make me a complete learning roadmap from absolute beginner to employable machine learning engineer. Right off the bat, ChatGPT suggests 10 to 12 hours a week. This is fine if you're okay taking two years or more, but for someone wanting to get a job ASAP, it's way too low. The roadmap starts with phase zero, which is a prep phase covering GitHub and virtual environments. This is good. I like that this sets you up to document your learning from the very beginning. Now here's where I was pleasantly surprised. Most machine learning roadmaps throw you straight into the deep end with the math. The ChatGPT plan doesn't. Instead, phase one focuses on Python foundations. I love this because coding is core to AI engineering, data science, and software engineering. So even if it turns out that machine learning isn't right for you, you've built a really important transferable skill. Plus, diving into actually building stuff keeps people motivated way better than starting with calculating derivatives by hand. The Python recommendations are solid. Core Python, Pandas, NumPy, and emphasis on clean code and doc strings and tests. It suggests matplotlib for plots, which I'd actually skip since that's perfect for AI coding assistance, but otherwise no complaints. Phase two covers math through machine learning, and I appreciate that it focuses only on what you actually need. Linear algebra foundations, calculus foundations, probability and stats, and optimization. Nothing extra. However, there's a problem. ChatGPT suggests implementing machine learning models from scratch in NumPy as practice, which is great. But at this point, you haven't actually learned any algorithms yet. So you'd need to work on math alongside the next phase. Phase three finally gets to classical machine learning. The list ChatGPT provides is pretty comprehensive. The machine learning workflow, algorithms like regression, SVMs, and tree-based models, pre-processing, evaluation, and dealing with common gotchas like imbalanced data and data leakage. All good stuff. But ChatGPT suggests five to six weeks. I don't think that's nearly long enough for something so core to your work. I'd say closer to three to six months. By now, I think it's pretty clear that ChatGPT isn't exactly the best at estimating timelines. If you actually wanna learn machine learning the right way and land solid roles, a structured program like Interview Kickstart's Advanced Machine Learning Program helps a ton. I've taught as a technical mentor for Interview Kickstart and I had a good experience with the curriculum and the staff. In just over a year, the program takes you from Python and math foundations all the way to deep learning, NLP, computer vision, and ML ops, plus newer in-demand skills like Gen AI and AI agents. You'll get interactive mentor sessions with engineers from top tech companies, over 50 hands-on assignments to solidify concepts, and capstone projects that strengthen your portfolio. They even include mock interviews and machine learning interview prep on DSA and ML system design, which is a huge plus. If that sounds interesting, I'll drop a link to a free webinar where you can explore the program, ask questions, and see if it's a fit for your goals. Now let's compare this to what ChatGPT thinks we should learn next. Usually the next phase after classical machine learning is deep learning, but ChatGPT has other plans for us. Phase four covers data handling, SQL, and APIs. A lot of machine learning engineers forget to learn SQL, but the reality is most of us use it on a daily basis. So this section is a little bit boring, but important. In the next section, we're starting to get to the fun stuff. Phase five gets into deep learning. PyTorch and TensorFlow, neural network architectures, and training techniques. The example projects are good for beginners, but the suggested timeline of four to six weeks is again, wildly inadequate. Understanding even basic neural networks takes serious work, and that's before you get into different architectures and making them actually useful. Again, I'd say three to six months if you want solid understanding beyond just copy-pasted tutorials. Now, one thing you'll notice is so far, we haven't really talked about the engineering part of machine learning engineering. We basically learned how to be a data scientist who works on models in a notebook. If you want to deploy real products to production, which you'll have to do as a machine learning engineer, you'll need to really focus on this next section. Phase six covers MLOps and deployment, which is when you learn everything required for users to actually interact with your model. This is my favorite part of machine learning engineering and ChatGPT is spot on with the content actually. So things like packaging code, deployment, containerization, pipeline orchestration, testing, and monitoring. These are all crucial. I bet you can guess the problem though. ChatGPT thinks you can learn this in four to five weeks. For someone with a non-technical background, try four to five months at least. This is basically everything about building and monitoring software products, which is a lot. And it's important because if something breaks in production, 
Jackson, your butt is on the line. So besides the extremely optimistic timelines, there are some other major flaws you need to know about before you follow a plan like this. Phase seven suggests picking a domain focus. This can be good if you know what interests you, but it's not strictly necessary. Personally, I don't really have an area of focus and being flexible has been an asset in my career. This is more of a personal choice, but here's where we're really off. ChatGPT thinks you can create a portfolio, resume, and prep for interviews in two to three weeks. Making a resume and portfolio site is easy. The problem is nothing you've done so far is portfolio ready. Small toy problems and Kaggle competitions aren't competitive for the job market. A real portfolio project takes one to three months of focused effort if you want to be considered for a role with no experience. Also, Leet code style coding is completely different from the Python you've been learning so far. You won't master it in one to two weeks, and that's usually what you actually are tested on in interviews. For me, this is honestly the hardest part of everything, and I'd budget, again, three to six months. ChatGPT also casually throws in ML system design. This is an entire specialization that's sort of covered in ML ops, but not totally. So add another one to two months. And here's another big issue. This plan is outdated. It includes nothing about AI engineering, like working with LLMs, RAG, fine tuning, and agents. The reality is that every machine learning engineer in today's market should have basic AI engineering skills. So nothing in ChatGPT's plan is wrong, but it's wildly optimistic and missing key skills. ChatGPT estimates six to eight months at 10 to 12 hours a week. My realistic estimate for someone coming from a completely non-technical background, at 10 to 12 hours a week, you're looking at closer to two to three years minimum, which actually kind of makes sense because most of these roles require a master's or a PhD. So self-study taking a similar time checks out. You can speed this up though. If you already have a CS background, skip the fundamentals. If you're putting in serious hours every week, of course, it's gonna go faster. But for most people who want to move quickly, a structured program with instructor feedback will help tremendously. So should you use ChatGPT to plan your machine learning journey? It's a decent starting point for understanding what to learn, but don't trust its timelines and definitely verify it's covering current industry needs. AI is great at many things, but realistic career planning that accounts for how long humans actually need to master complex skills is not quite there yet. For comparison, check out my machine learning roadmap video that's up next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.